Hey guys! So here's our ingredients. Carrots, green beans, cabbage, and the chicken breast. And of course, our bihon. Okay, so I have an onions here sliced too. So let's start. And first, we have to heat our pan. There you go. And add oil, of course. This is gonna be an easy, guys, super easy recipe. Okay. So at least you have to put some oil, vegetable oil. Okay. Let's put at least like two tablespoons. So that's enough. That should be enough. Just enough to cook with your spices. All right. So let's wait until it's gonna be a little bit hot. So let's start since this is already hot. Let's start cooking the onions. Right, that's on them. Let's clear it. Clear it. Clear it. Clear, clear, clear. And then let's add the onion. I mean the garlic. There we go. Until golden brown. Okay, this is super easy, guys. And put it in a medium heat. Okay, there you go. So now it's golden brown. Next step, we'll add the chicken breast. Okay, add the chicken breast. There you go. I normally guys add right away with the ground pepper. Okay. I'll add the ground pepper while cooking with the chicken. Okay. Now I'm adding the ground pepper. At least guys. You, you can like decide how much you're gonna put it on it but normally I put like um, less than like one for teaspoon okay so there you go you can see that's the ground pepper and then I also add with I'm adding soy sauce as well so there you go I normally add it like two tablespoons so you can like make it uh if just you prepare like how it looks like darker or light that's up to you guys so there you go mix it all together and let's wait at least 10 minutes simmer it i normally cover it guys just to make sure my chicken breast is really cooked okay Cover it. All right, so 10 minutes done. Let's try and stir it again. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is here we go. Mix it. You can tell exactly that your chicken is already cooked. So what we're gonna do is add our this too. Okay. So carrots and the green beans. All right. Let's go add the carrots. And our green beans too. So 
So, I normally, guys, add, like, oh, there you go. Right? So, I normally, if you can see, it's just only small, like, oil on it or, like, small water. I normally add water, okay? So, since it's a little bit dry, so we will add water. Okay. To make sure. That's only, like, one quart cup. Right. And let it cook right there for five minutes. Cover it, guys. I have my secret ingredients, and this is magic syrup all in one. <laughs> okay, so I'm adding it. Just not the full packet. It's only like one quart of it. Okay. To taste it really good. All right. Not too bad. So after five minutes, guys, let's add our cabbage because I'm cooking it like my cabbage. All right. That's only five minutes cooking time. So normally you can cook this bihun in just 20 minutes, you know, easy. There you go. So that's I normally like leave it for another, leave it for another like two to three minutes. So guys, here's the last product that we have to put. <laughs> this is our last step. This is our bihun. So what I did, I normally, if you can see people are cooking like this, they normally like to let it straight to like, um, it's dry but mine is like you the technique for that is you have to soak it with water first okay while cooking with your chicken and all of those vegetables your carrots and green beans and your cabbage so now this is ready to go and it's really soft you can tell so let's start and adding it to our pan there you go oh there you go now you can tell exactly that it's already ready. So let's start adding your stuff that way. Because I like my green beans that's not really fully cooked. It's like a half cooked, you know what I mean? But yes, you can still add like extend it for another five minutes once after you add your cabbage. But still, since you've got water a little bit, make it dry after you're cooking it. So let's add with our bihon. There's the bihon. Okay. And there you go. Let it soak. Soak, soak, soak with the water that you add earlier and let it wait until all of this water is really mixed. You can tell once this is cooked if there's no water left on this pan, okay? So, what I'm doing is mixing them all together, right? Let's mix them all together. And let's wait for, I will wait another 10 minutes, uh, five minutes, okay? Just wait for five minutes. There you go, guys. It's five minutes up, so I think it's all the water is all gone here, I guess. <laughs> so, yep, that's all I'm gonna do. Oh, we still got a little bit water on it, but yeah, we will wait a little bit. But yeah, I'll show you the finished product after all. Okay. There you go. All right, here we go. Here's our finished product, guys. There you go. So enjoy your pancit bihon. It's easy, guys, right? Easy to cook.